name is Sean, Sean Zhen. Uh, today, uh, we have this opportunity to uh, talk about my art. Uh, first of all, I would like to take uh, opportunity to say thank you uh, to the organizer of uh, this uh, fifth edition art show, uh, the and uh, Collector's Choice Art Gallery, giving me this opportunity to talk about my art. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, what able to. Uh, introduce my art to the audience uh, as uh, I'm uh, very appreciated. So today the art talk will have uh, uh, two parts. One is uh, uh, the impressionist ink painting. Uh, second is abstract ink painting. Uh, we I we're going to have a, a two PowerPoint uh, uh, presentation to show. Also, I will uh, talk along with uh, the PowerPoint. And the, now, in, in the beginning, uh, first of all, I uh, thank you for uh, welcome everyone join this uh, our talk. Uh, now I'm going to, uh, to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Sean Zhen. Uh, uh, the official name is Su Chen Zhen. Uh, I am a, a Chinese artist. Before before I came to Canada, I teaching. I'm, I taught uh, fine art and uh, design in the Academy of Art of Teachers University in Fujian Teachers. Uh, in Fujian's Teachers University. Uh, I come to Canada as in 1989. I was uh, a visiting scholar, uh, then end up uh, we settled down in Saskatchewan, Canada. Uh, already more than 30 years. I'm very grateful uh, uh, in uh, living in Canada. Now here is uh, my home. Uh, that's uh, about myself. Uh, then, and then next, I will start uh, to show uh, my uh, PowerPoint presentation, first part of my artwork. It's the first part is uh, I paint uh, Canadian geese, 150 Canadian geese. Uh, now I'm going to share the screen with uh, with you guys. Uh, please uh, bear with me. I'm going to turn on the screen share. Interesting, why it's not going on there. See, that's interesting. Stop share for now, wait a second. That's interesting, why it is not... Uh... Was a share okay? No, why is not sharing? Just wait a second. I share again. Okay, finally. Yeah, there's some. Um, Computer is not uh, 
not to follow the instruction. Okay, this uh, is a 150 Canadian geese painting to, uh, to uh, it's a for the separated by the uh, separated Canada 150 uh, birthday. So, uh, Sean, sorry to yes. interrupt you. Yes. Uh, I don't think we can see the presentation. It just, I just see a blank screen here. What? Really? I don't know if anyone else can see it. Oh, if you cannot see that, that will same. You cannot see. Okay, wait a second. Oh, I cannot see it. Uh, hey, that's interesting. Why is cannot see it? Was it showing okay? No, I do it again. Sometimes uh, you have to choose the program specifically. I'm not sure what it, uh, what options it gives you. It just says you've started screen sharing. Oh, there it is. Now I can see it. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now I can see it. Okay, that's good. This work was painted to celebrate the 150th anniversary of Canada as one of the contributions of the artists to Canada. The painting symbolizes Canada's natural environment as a desirable habitat that must be protected for future generations. The Canadian geese can be seen in all the provinces and territories of Canada. They stand for freedom, harmony, and in peace qualities the Canadians deeply cherish. Besides representing Canada's age to date, the number 150 also represents the country's richness in time, vastness in space, and diversity in life. Now I'm going to show you the starting the, the first panel. Photo of this uh, artwork is a 10 panel of uh, uh, painting uh, here. This one is uh, in the early spring, the, uh, the Canadian geese uh, return from the south. You see the leading leading geese is a larger, the, the bigger one is a facing come to us. That's a come back, the meaning is come back. It's all uh, painted by the ink on the rice paper. Is lending this uh, all the uh, pictures showing four season of uh, Canadian geese uh, uh, live uh, circle. They come come back home. Yeah, celebrating celebration. Renewal and have a uh, odd baby here. The next uh, uh, see see the the new generation is growing growing up. Display. Trial. Migration in uh, later fall, they fly down south. That's a, a, a ten panel. It's end of that of uh, this uh, painting. Now I'm going to uh, uh, to say something about uh, this uh, creation. This uh, is uh, is uh, ink, different ink. I using uh, uh, three different type of ink to complete this picture. Uh, this uh, uh, 10 panel picture because uh, uh, different ink will have a different result, uh, a visual effect on the rice paper. So I, I using that to, to create it. Uh, this picture, uh, I also have a very unique uh, uh, display method. I going to share you uh, uh, a video you know, you're able to see the 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 picture can be displayed. Uh, how how I did the display? 
uh, I'm going to turn on a video. Yeah, this, this uh, panel is, uh, I put a, a picture between two plastic glass, clear plastic glass. This is a picture able to display uh, both sides. Uh, because uh, my ink is go through the rice paper and both sides will see have the same amount of ink that the image is almost identical just uh, like a mirror images, you know, uh, that can display uh, as a hanging, hanging on a wall or hanging in the middle of uh, the uh, display space. When I, in uh, 2017, uh, when I show, I have a two piece amount like that uh, show in the university. Also with, uh, with uh, music, with a song recorded from the nature Canadian geese song uh, from nature. And just when you in that space, you just feel you are in that nature with that creature, with that uh, Canadian geese. They can hear their, uh, their, their, their song uh, and uh, uh, they, they enjoy the same time, they enjoy the, the artwork. Okay, I'm going to turn off this, uh, this, this uh, share. This uh, artwork, I try to um, painting the Canadian geese. Uh, I try to uh, encourage it, uh, Canadian to, uh, to uh, protect the, the environment for the future coming uh, uh, new generation. We, we need uh, really respect the nature and uh, protect the nature for our, uh, uh, for the future. That's, uh, that's uh, about uh, my uh, Canadian geese uh, uh, creation. This, uh, then I will going to show the, this one is uh, uh, Canadian geese, this one's already finished. Now I'm going to show my abstract, uh, art, ink painting. Uh, I also, the, this ink, uh, I, this type of uh, uh, the abstract ink, also I talk to, talk this, uh, this type of uh, abstract uh, arts work in the uh, university here in the department of uh, art and art history. So, uh, Now I'm going to turn on the other screen share. This is what we call, I, I sometimes I call oriental abstract ink painting. So now I'm going to. Using the base abstractions are prompted by meditations on the profundity of life and the depth of human nature. Their forms bear a little resemblance to worldly things. Rather, their indexes of inner realities like passion, struggle, release, desire, entanglement, confusion, lust, and anger. Abstraction seems particularly really? suited to these subjects. Rhythm is crucial. The vivid. Oh, still cannot see it. Tabi may have opened it, cannot see it. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, is able to see it or not. I do it again. Why oh, is not shit? Uh, 
Of energy, strength, and tension between brush strokes must be carefully deployed to achieve an overall unity that activates human vision. I create visual impact through the technical manipulation of ink shades, wet and dry application, fast and slow brush strokes, light and heavy marks. My intention is to elicit correspondingly abstract responses from viewers who inevitably bring their own socially and culturally specific experiences to bear. Viewers complete the work by adding their own life experiences in order to arrive in a common thinking space with the artist. Now, I'd like to uh, ask a question. You guys are able to see this, uh, uh, the share screen? I, I can't see it, Sean. You cannot? No. What? Just a black screen. <laughs> uh, just wait a second. Uh, uh, stop share. Probably have to go, go to open again. Oh, this month. Just wait, just wait, I have to just go. Why is it not showing? Okay, I'm going to uh, turn off this one first. I know this. Oh, it's going to open again this file. Then, Is now able to see it, everyone? Yeah, that looks good. Oh, no, able to see it. All right, that's, a, that's weird. Okay, anyway, I'm going to uh, do, it, uh, do it again. I, I can see it, Sean. It looks good to me. Okay. Based abstractions are prompted by meditations on the profundity of life and the depth of human nature. Their forms bear little resemblance to worldly things. Rather, they are indexes of inner realities like passion, struggle, release, desire, entanglement, confusion, and lust and anger. Abstraction seems particularly suited to these subjects. Rhythm is crucial. The vivid flow of energy, strength, and tension between brush strokes must be carefully deployed to achieve an overall unity that activates human vision. I create visual impact through the technical manipulation of ink shades, wet and dry application, fast and slow brush strokes, light and heavy marks. My intention is to elicit correspondingly abstract responses from viewers who inevitably bring their own socially and culturally specific experiences to bear. Viewers complete the work by adding their own life experiences in order to arrive in a common thinking space with the artist. Okay, now uh, I'm going to show my uh, abstract ink painting. Uh, this uh, is uh, 36 by uh, three feet by, by six feet, uh, the ink painting. Uh, those, uh, those ink painting all is uh, on the paint on the rice paper. Uh, and after I paint it, then I will mount it on the canvas then uh, the canvas, uh, just like a canvas, then I can stretch on the wood frame, then can display us uh, oil painting uh, the way uh, I, I display that. So in this, uh, in this, uh, uh, the visual form, uh, I, I pay uh, more attention to the uh, rhythm, energy, 
and the tension of the brush, shape, stroke, and the ink. That, that I just explained how I uh, emph emphasize the rhythm and the energy and the tension of uh, my brush stroke. In this uh, uh, style of a painting is uh, what I'm claiming as a, as a written style. Every stroke is just my, just like my signature. Uh, then the people, actually those uh, stroke, those line, dots, shape, is will carry out my, my thought or my, myself and my source. Or, or present through the visual which I created. And the people able to, to, to see the, 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 uh, what I created, the visual impact, then they will, from their angle, to appreciate uh, my visual arts. Yeah, this uh, this um, is is kind of um, I did uh, my impression of uh, the wild animal, uh, the buffalo running. Uh, the impression I in my mind. So uh, we we don't have much time. I have to go through a little bit quicker. Uh, uh, those uh, painting. You just see what I, I created. This really need to control the, the shape line, the, the contract, and uh, try to present, to express my mood, my feeling. Yes, uh, people. Some uh, other look at this one and say, "Sean, you, when you do it, probably you are you are as, uh, is uh, is uh, quite a uh, uh, struggle or mad." It's always I, I it's present my that time, that space, the the mood when I when I do the this. Specific, specific, uh, the, the, the time and the space and the mood that which I created. Those things uh, actually, uh, for me, uh, is unable to, uh, uh, is not repeatable. Each time will be, will be a different because of the, the time and the space and the mood is a different. It's a line, dot, a different shape. Yeah, this one is uh, all my uh, impression, uh, impression, the Abstract uh, ink is show is uh, is done. So now we we only have a couple of minutes. Uh, do you guys have any question? Uh, please let me know. Yeah, this time is very, very short. I don't have uh, the chance to uh, to talk more. So if you guys have any question, you can just let me know. Here.
非常大的注意点，谢博士。Yeah, it's uh, it's okay. Um, it, it's mainly uh, the principle. I already uh, uh, say what I want to say. Uh, most time, uh, I feel the the artwork was will speak for me even better. Uh, so uh, I think uh, I I don't think I here have any uh, questions. So. Thank you very much uh, for the everyone joining this event. Uh, I, I uh, in the end, I will say in this uncertain time, I wish everybody uh, the health and the peace. Thank you.